What's up guys, welcome back to another exciting Apex Legends video. Today I'm giving you an in-depth guide to master the multi-dimensional rift porting legend, Wraith. Let's do it. To understand Wraith a little better, let's take a look at her kit so we can see what she can do. Starting off with her passive, Voices from the Void. Voices from within the Void warn Wraith about incoming danger, such as enemies aiming at her or nearby traps and incoming ordnance. This is a great ability to gain unprepared information. When a team is aiming at you and it can't be hit fire, it has to be someone ADSing looking down their barrel at you, you're going to be warned. Shooter, move. Pretty sure someone's got a shot on you. This tells you that someone has a clear shot on you from somewhere most likely close by. It's a great way to tell your team, hey, someone is aiming at me and to be on the lookout and locate where these teams are. Or if you're approaching a building or around a corner or anything or a choke point and you don't notice any traps. They've laid traps. This is amazing against Watson and her fences, Rampart and her shield walls, or Caustic and those pesky traps because now you and your team can change your strategy from the information Wraith has gained from her passive ability. Now on to her tactical, Into the Void. Wraith steps into the void which causes her to avoid all damage for a short time. She can also see enemy players in all surroundings while inside the void. This is a great ability for aggressive players in Apex Legends. It allows you to have a get out of jail free card. Into the Void is an animation that takes 1.5 seconds to activate and slows Wraith's movement by 20% while in this animation. So when you go to activate the phase ability for Wraith, you need to use it at crucial times. You're gonna be really exposed and be a lot easier to hit when you're trying to activate this ability. When she finally steps into the Void, her movement is increased by 30% for four seconds and she can see all surroundings and players. Into the Void has a cooldown of about 25 seconds before it can be used again, so make sure to use it wisely. Best practices to use this is when you're in a gunfight or you've taken too much damage and you want to phase away, or if you're trying to dodge a Legend's ability like Gibby's Bombardment, Cossack Gas, a Horizon's Black Hole, or even a Bangalore's Artillery Strike. These are all great times to use her phase ability. Another great way to use her phase ability is on the zip lines in Apex Legends. Amazing. You can continue to zip across the zip lines while inside of her phase to not take any damage and then get to the other side or wherever you wanted to go inside of a building. Now on to Wraith's ultimate ability, Dimensional Rift. Wraith creates and links two portals together for 60 seconds, allowing anyone to travel through them. This is a great ability for almost any situation. This ability allows you to get your teammates into different locations, reposition them on the map, get across a wide open area without taking any damage, save down teammates. I mean, the portal does literally everything you want inside of Apex Legends. Now let's get into some tips on how to use Wraith. In my opinion, Wraith is still one of, if not the best legend in the game. She is a very aggressive legend, and not to say that she can't be used more like a scout to reposition your team. What I mean is she is a slayer. Some of the best ways to use her aggressively is scouting out teams, baiting shots to try to take down one of the enemy players, and then use her phase to get back safely. Now be careful when doing this to avoid team shots because her increased activation timer of her phase, you will need to use it more preemptively. So my tip for this is to not to get too far away from your team when you're trying to scout out for a quick kill. Her phase is also a great way to bait enemy teams into a trap. Players typically like to chase down a Wraith that they see phasing, especially if they've dealt a good amount of damage to her. This is great because if you phase back to your team that is waiting for the enemy, it's a great trap to catch them off guard. Most players only see tunnel vision when they're trying to kill a Wraith and don't expect her team to be waiting right there for them. Now onto the bread and butter of Wraith, her portal. Defensively, her portal can be used in so many different situations, namely saving your team. So if you have a downed teammate, her portal is the best way to get them out to a safe location to be rezzed. The tip for this is to start the portal right where your teammate is, so that way when you place the portal down, they'll go through it right away. Similarly, if you're spaced away from your downed teammate, porting to them from a safe location works just as good. Now offensively, her portal is great for getting in and out of gunfights. For example, if you're going into third party a fight, it's a great idea to portal 
into the fight to shoot your way out. And then if you get hurt or you need to get a quick getaway, you can take the portal back out to safety. Now, be careful with this strategy because if you're third partying, chances are another team may be around for that fourth party. And if they're bold enough, they could just take your portal. Same can be said and missed a gunfight. If your team is stuck or fighting, but then you hear additional shots or another team trying to third party you, using her portal to get your team out is the best play. My tip here is to try to understand your surroundings and see where the third party team is coming from, then portal the opposite way or direction, so then that way you're keeping both teams in front of you. Then once your team is healed, you can go back in and clean up whatever players are left. Another great way to use her portal is to kidnap an enemy team. This takes a lot of practice, but you want to use your portal to capture an enemy legend, send them back through the portal for your team to get an easy kill. What you want to do is portal towards the enemy player or team, phase when you start to get close to them so that way they don't know where you're going to end up, and try to predict where the target legend is moving so when you place your portal down, the next step they take is through it. Then when they go back through the portal, they're going to see your team with an easy kill. Now let's look at some strategic ways to actually place Wraith's portals. Anytime you're placing a portal down, you always want to place the second one away from you or facing towards a door, a wall, cover, anything like that. So if a team happens to chase you, when they come out, they will be facing the opposite direction of where you are. This will make them have to look around for you and give you precious seconds to shoot them as they emerge from your portal, giving your team a complete advantage. Another great way to bait in players using her portal is to start it and head towards a cliff, the edge of the map, or anywhere that would eliminate the enemy immediately. Start the portal and make enemy players think you're trying to get away or save your team from a fight, but make the connecting portal off the map or just on the edge of the map so when the team emerges they fall off the map for an easy elimination also when porting into a fight and you think a team is chasing you or maybe a team shows up and wants to take your portal ending it in mid-air is a strategy that can trap a team where you want them to be trapped so stop your portal in mid-air off some high ground a box a wall or a slope anything because when the team comes through they're going to have a few seconds from when they're falling to hit the ground and try to figure out what's going on and that's the time to strike now i have to say be careful with the strategy because once you make it in mid-air unless you have a legend that can get your team back into it like horizon octane maybe pathfinder you won't be able to get back into the portal so make sure it's a trap that you want to set before executing it a quick note with her portal is when you start the activation of her portal, you activate her phase. You don't see the 1.5 second delay and instead it happens instantly and you will have the 30% movement buff that you would have normally when you're in her phase while you're using the portal. This is always a must when you're trying to use the portal if you can. Now let's get on to Wraith's hitbox. Up until season eight, Wraith had the smallest hitbox in the game and for good reason, she is tiny. This made her incredibly difficult to hit, and a player with good movement was god tier with Wraith. This season her hitbox was increased, i.e. a nerf, and is still one of the smallest hitboxes in the game. So if you are playing Wraith, a tip for me is to make your movement the best it can be. Learn how to bunny hop, wall jump, learn the best strafing and crouch spamming techniques in the game. Having great movement inside of Apex Legends is the key to playing Wraith. On the other side, if your movement isn't the best, then you're going to feel the effects of her increased hitbox and take more damage or possibly lose fights that you normally would win. Not to say that this will happen, but being self-aware of how much damage you take because of her increased hitbox is important. Always be aware of that. You want to be able to use her abilities to your best advantage and get out of those situations without taking too much damage. So make sure that you're knowing when to take a good fight because of her increased hitbox. Otherwise, maximize that movement and play Wraith to the best of her abilities. Now, how does Wraith stack up against the competition and the fellow legends of Apex? I did a season eight tier list video, which I'll link above guys detailing all the important reasons why she is ranked inside the A tier. But to me, in my opinion, Wraith is still one of, if not the best legends in the game, regardless of the hitbox nerf that she received in season eight. She's still viable on every and any team inside Apex. Wraith can be played on any map. There is never a situation where she can't be used on any given team. And she pairs well with every legend in the game. Yes, some legends like Gibby, Caustic, Bloodhound, and Octane do suit her better, but she can pair with any legend because of her kit. 
Thank you guys so much for watching today's in-depth guide to mastering Wraith. If you enjoyed it, drop a like and let's see if we can get this video to 50 likes. And if you want more tips videos to improve your gameplay in Apex, consider subscribing to the channel. For me, Warlug, as always, stay gaming guys and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.